and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube. For another Brawl deck, we got Nickel Bolas Dragon God as our fourth and final Brawl deck of the day. You may remember that the last time that we played Brawl, uh, a couple weeks ago, we played this Nickel Bolas uh, deck here. It's been updated for some of like the suggestions that we talked about at the time, but then also at the time we really struggled against the Oko decks. You remember like our first two matches? Um, I'm pretty sure it was like the first two matches are both just losses to, to Oko. But Oko has been banned as a Brawl Commander now, so that's good news for playing something else. And so, uh, yeah, now we got Nickel Bulls. We played three green decks, and so I wanted to play a non-green deck and wanted to get back to this one here, trying this in a, a metagame that doesn't have Oko in it. Um, but as you can tell, it's just like Grixis Control, a whole bunch of removal, a few counter spells here and there, a few sweepers, and then some really big top-end effects to win the game. That's what our deck's going to be about here. I like the cards to kind of match. So we'll see how it goes. We'll do. Uh, we'll see how this goes with Nickel Bolas. So it's negative two degrees Celsius here right now. So just found that out. It's twenty eight outside. That's really cold, Hawkeye. Hawkeye's like, but the heat's on here. It's nice and warm. You win five zero today with Tajik. Awesome. You beat Frasca, Bolos, Corvold, Golos, and Judith. Cool. Ooh, Tesa, that's different. All tap lands. <laughs> yeah, Texas is a desert. I'm currently in Virginia at this moment in time. But I agree that Texas is very desert-like. Hmm. I was definitely casting the Discovery. It was just which land to play, whether to shock for Steam Vents or play Interplanar Bacon. I right, hopefully we find black mana. I mean, technically that's black mana. I don't get to bedevil this heraldic banner though. That's a good card. Soren. I guess I'd rather bedevil Soren. Yeah, I'm from Texas. And I'm planning on moving back there. But I'm currently in Virginia right now. <laughs> Kitty's a better door than a window. True. Ugh, stop. I could have cried the critter and then had tails end up. Smelly, but effective. Again. Ugh, looks like they're on your own. 
But I couldn't bedevil and then hold up Tail's End, even if I would have played the untapped land because of Tithe Taker making it cost one more. Yeah, they don't get to. Yeah, they don't get to draw. They wouldn't draw cards with Cry anyway. Kind of giving them some more uh, time to put even more. Giving them some time to put even more things out here for me to cry. Nothing to cry. Exile. Or command zone. That was perfect. And that's why Tail's End is just so good in Commander. Just two mana counter the Commander. Or in whatever this is, Brawl. Tail's End is really great in this format. I think that Kiora deck we had in a gate, that, that a gate should be a Tail's End. No, it can go back to the command zone. But it just costs another two mana each time you go back. Um, there. <laughs> Did you build a good deck or what? Well, we beat a Tasa deck. This is this is the this is the test here. I don't like losing to the Golos decks. If if we win this, then you have a then you have a good deck. All right, I like having Bedazzle. Destroy the uh, Field of the Dead. I like that. Hey, don't bite. Oh, well, I mean, I could have held up a deck there. I didn't really expect them to play anything to bedeck, but I could have just played Swamp instead of playing Castle. That was just unnecessary by me. No, I'm not playing Narset now. But I guess I, I really do want to have Bedazzle, so... I don't really want to use the deck anyway. Hmm. Boogie, 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 boogie. Here we go. I will spare you in exchange for eternal servitude. All right, this is working out. I will return one day. <laughs> you oh, yeah, no gotta get that bullet up, Dick. I cannot this? exploit. Might be a bad idea. Start exiling. Oh no! Boo! Mind and body should move hone your prowess. I think I just want to 
you know, Elder Spell that thing right now. I don't think we need to wait. Oh, maybe I should have waited. Your corpse will make a nice <sighs> I won't forget our time. It seems fortune favors you. They don't have that much stuff over here. We'll be your end. We'll make them exile still. Don't be surprised if we meet again. This emote of my power. That works. You think Rien Brawl is, is a lot of fun? Your defiance is infuriating. Or is it getting a little warm in here? Well, e Emblem's pretty powerful for our deck. Because we can play some good defense. Alright, get that thing out of here. Yeah, yeah, sh yeah. Having the finale of. Almost had the, the black finale instead of the Chandra. But yeah, this Chandra's looking a whole lot better. And we get that bedazzle. Get rid of that Field of the Dead. Say nope. Hope it's not too hot for you. All will bow before Nicole Bolas. Ooh, getting rid of Agent of Treachery. My intellect is without limit. Getting rid of Agent of Treachery. Oh, that card's pretty good. Gives them an extra thing to get rid of to Nicobolus and everything, too. Okay. I was I was thinking about just doing... Um, I think what I was going to do here is just go Emblem Emblem, honestly. And I probably should have just done Emblem last turn with Nicobolus. That would give them four Emblems, which gives them four turns to kill me. And I just I don't think they could kill me in four turns. All right, Storm, your, your deck's officially pretty good. We, we beat the Golos deck. I like it. Hey, what's up, Kurtash? Ah, uh, you've been feeling sick? Well, I'm glad you're feeling better. And, and you know, we're always here. So it's all good. If you need some time off because you're not feeling good. But welcome back. Uh, this is the Goo Goo Dolls Black Balloon is the name of the song. I'm going to put a, a picture of Hawkeye right now. Like how he's just sitting right, he's just like staring right at the screen right in front of it. Um, is this a keep? This is probably a mulligan. Wait, we have Chromatic Lantern? Chromatic Lantern's pretty busted. But wait, they're gonna kill Chromatic Lantern with this thing? Ah, same thing. I post that in the Discord channel, Put post it in the pets part of the Discord channel. You can see Hawkeye being fun.
If I had another free mulligan, I'd mulligan again, but I just didn't really feel like going to six. Of course, the Discord channel's for everybody, if you're not a member of the Discord channel. Um, and if you're watching this over on YouTube, if you want to be part of our Discord group also, it's just the link is in the video description. I'm going to pass with Murderous Rider up. If they do play Vraska, we'll be able to kill it. Um. I maybe should have just played Cry of the Carnarium just to get rid of the Pelt Collector. Because now, like, even if I Murderous Rider the Questing Beast, like, the, the Pelt Collector just grows to be a 4-4. Four -four. So, like, they're both just 4-4s. Four and, like, this thing has trample, but then this thing will just keep growing. So I guess I, I should have just cried the Carnarium to it away. And so if I do kill the Pelt Collector, though, then the, the Beast is still a 4-4, but then... I don't know. But it doesn't keep growing where the Pell Collector could continue to grow. So I need to be able to Disdainful Stroke here. And we need to draw an untapped land where I can have Flame Sweep plus Cry. Alright, perfect. So now we need Flame Sweep plus Cry. Is that my best option though? Yeah, I'm at 10. Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> More like casualties of nope. I'm good at what I do. Boo, they figured it out. I've suffered worse. I guess I could have gone to six. I already I tried the free mulligan and kept a sketchy one. Didn't work out though. Didn't work out. thing about Brawl with only getting one of each dual land, you gotta play a lot of basics. And sometimes something like that happens. But this time, this is awesome. I, I mean, Gadwick's just gonna be kind of hard to cast for this deck. But... Raska again. But, but yes, I, I don't love the Kefnet. Kefnet's kind of better in this format, though, where you don't have to worry about... Uh, just only tap lands. I would have loved to go Lantern plus Lava Coil, this Druid.
You don't have to worry about Oko, which definitely makes Kefnet better. Huh. I guess they assumed that I could play my Nickel Bolas the next turn. But I couldn't. Yeah, like they were just assuming that I could play my Nickel Bolas next turn. I even keep this. You know, I don't have a lot of black mana for Nicol Bolas, but besides that, it looks pretty good. I like having this midnight clock. Well, I need black mana, and neither of those, like, those are, those are black cards, not black mana, so those are going to go to the graveyard. It's unfortunate. Ritual of Set could be one that would have been nice to have. So I'll have Disdainful Stroke and Anticipate available here. Yeah, the, the ritual, putting the Ritual of Soot down there is pretty rough. Uh, Bice Cream, did you try? Re did you try just resetting? You know, like clo exiting out of Arena and then re-entering and seeing if the gems are there. That's about the only thing that I could think of. Okay, then yeah. Yeah, I don't know what else to, to do then. That's, I don't know. So getting this midnight clock down to, to start its clock, for lack of a better uh, term there. Anyway, we have a new sub, Erin Dash. Thank you so much, Erin Dash, and welcome to the channel. Our sixth sub of the day. Oh, Fires doesn't let me disdainful stroke. Doesn't let me kill the Corvold. Or, you know, counter the Corvold. I could play it and then play Ugin and Nicol Bolas, though. Well, no, I can't. I can only play one thing if I play it.
Thanks, Aaron Dash. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's all good. I'm not going to play Fires until I play the Disdainful Stroke. So I'm going with just the Flame Sweep here. I'm really glad they didn't have the Devil. I, I think I should have tapped the Midnight Clock. Really glad they didn't have the Devil. I should tap Midnight Clock though. It just auto tapped these other things. Alright, now we can start dropping fires. Yeah, I know the clock could tap for blue, but. Um, if they would have if they had Bedevil to kill the the Midnight Clock, then I would not have had blue mana anymore for Disdainful Stroke. Okay, no casualties of war. I was gonna be able to use the clock to put a counter on itself there. Also, <laughs> um, done. There we go. All right, four and one. Play a couple more. These have been some fast games. Now Johnny. Well, my mana's terrible, but we have Fires of Invention, so it's only good. Play Questing Beast. We got a good answer for Questing Beast. Darn. Nickel Bull is just bragging over here. I have other schemes to attend to. So, wow, well, must be nice. I just have this one. I only got one scheme. Just bragging about how many schemes you got over there. So we have like Liliana plus other removal next turn. Like the Liliana minus could be pretty nice. If they go wide with a bunch of tokens, though, that would be bad. Huh. Your effort 
Efforts are futile. Inconceivable! My schemes are never ending. I guess I just plus. Your core plans. This looks like a fun new toy. I guess I just cast this thing. No. I don't know, it feels bad not using my second spell. But if they make a 4-4 angel, I probably need to cast it then. I mean, I guess if they... If they do make 4-4 angels, though, we have the Liliana sack, and then obviously we have the Murder Rider and stuff, too. Hmm. Maybe I should have Price of Famed. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I would have had the surveil too. I would have, I would have gotten rid of both of those cards. Those cards are pretty useless. But I would have had that. Oh, I do love a good death. Game. So putting the chemist's insight in the graveyard Your means I get to cast that this turn. And look for something else that does something. Five and one. Hey, CRX GGs. Yeah, Fires of Invention just let me just play so much stuff, and it just fixed my mana and everything. Yeah. GGs there. Yeah, I guess I could have just discarded the counter spell. True. If fires would have been removed for somehow though, it had the counter. I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. I'm going first. This isn't like a great hand either against Niv Misery Born. I wish I could give her that Agent of Treachery. That card's going to be problematic. Maybe I shouldn't have kept that... Chromatic Lantern. It's just going to get bedeviled. Gross. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron Dash. I'm going to 
I should just got rid of this. So like an agent of treachery, my nickel bolus. Then we'll elder spell it. At least gets the agent of treachery out of their hand. That card's super powerful. At least gets it out of their hand. This is so absurd. This is tough. I really need land, but I also need to counter that Niv-Mizzet. Hey, Gatsby. Good evening. I don't think I'm supposed to just let them just exile just so much of my library. Because this is going to be a longer game. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need those cards. Now I don't get to counter Niv Mizzet though. Didn't really consider them bouncing Agent and Treachery like that. I guess I could have exiled that thing. I don't know, we were we were pretty doomed. How am I liking Brawl? I I like the idea of Brawl and everything. I haven't really found a, a deck I love or a deck that I'm doing real great with. This is probably this is probably my favorite deck so far. But I I. Don't like just getting ground out by these Nickel Bolas decks all the time. Or these Niv-Mizzet decks, sorry. These Niv-Mizzet decks all the time. I don't like that. The Niv-Mizzet and the Golas decks, those two. Those are the two that I don't like losing to. Like, if there was a, if there was a Brawl deck that I would play consistently, I would I really want it to be good against those two. But I'm not exactly sure what to do there. But yeah, Nickel Bolus is definitely a fun card to play.
Trust me. You'll thank me later. Last thing we're gonna do is thank you, Clary. I've got it. That's not gonna happen. My hands was not very good. Again. Next play is probably just play Midnight Clock, play Flame Sweep, kill this Paradise Druid. Oh wait, I guess I need blue mana to actually cast the clock. Here goes nothing. I need red mana for this flame sweep though. I'll protect you. I was definitely relying on my Chromatic Lantern, that's for sure. So we get to draw three. Good old double blue, double blue, back to back. All right, so we went five and three, lost our last two to Niv Mizzet. Just really bad mana that we had. Is there? There's got. Is there any way to make our mana better? Our mana was was really like that was that was the thing that I liked the least about our deck was our mana. So we have we have seven swamps over here. Like are there other are there other dual lands that we're not playing? No, looks like I guess is it Gilgate? Yeah, it looks like we're not playing Is it Gilgate. Could be playing that instead of an island. Just play a gateway plaza. Instead of a swamp. It's not it's not great, you know, but it means that we can cast spells. I mean it it adds you know, it's a five color land. We just have to pay one. But we, that was definitely a big struggle is not being able to play spells. 
Yeah, it's so slow. Yeah, well, there's a Fabled Passage in here. We got that in Evolving Wilds. I think I would look for something to replace Kefnet with. I'm not too big on the Kefnet. Yes, there's a Fable Passage in the deck. It was already, there was already one in there. I don't think I'd want Lotus Field. Lotus Field does not play well with um, Field of the Dead, sac sacrificing two of your lands. I feel like there's something better to do than this Kefnet. I kind of like the Ashiok. Oh, yeah, Royal Scions? Oh, yeah. Yeah, why don't we have Royal Scions in this deck? That card's awesome. That, that helps fix mana. Yeah, that helps fix mana quite a bit. And goes and finds, like, the Sweeper when you need a Sweeper. Yeah, Royal Science is just awesome. Ral's pretty good too. I wouldn't mind playing Ral either. Yeah, I'd rather have Ral than Kefnet. Try to move away from like these double blue, basically. Maybe make some stuff a little easier to cast. Also. There's a lot of things that we could double up with Ral, but then also just scry. Um just scrying is nice. Uh, it's, oh, okay. I got you, Thunderbunk. Um, I kind of liked how my opponent was just playing like the Ashiox. It obviously works better with, since they have Niv Mizzet that gets to find Ashiox, but this is a slow format. And especially us playing a deck like we're playing. So I wouldn't mind Ral here either. Hmm. Oh, uh, maybe not the Gateway Plaza. Maybe, maybe, maybe just get this. Is it Guild Gate in here? And try to have the Royal Scions help fix mana. Also, fix colors there. But yeah, Rao could be a good one. I'm not sure exactly where to play Ral, but that's that's another good planeswalker. Maybe not have the midnight clock in. Midnight clock didn't didn't really help our mana. I know the mana geode was was like the other option instead of midnight clock. Um, where mana geode helps your mana a whole lot more than what midnight clock does. It's the, yeah, it's probably the, the, the play you need with this deck. You probably just need Mana Geode. But I would, I would want to take out the, the Kefnet and play Royal Scions instead. And then maybe Ral over, like, Anticipate or Discovery. Maybe. Ral's one to think about there. I do like how I do like how low our curve is though. We had, you know, like good interaction and everything. I think probably the card I would take out if if we play Ral is probably anticipate. Um Maybe Ral is Ral better than Royal Scions in our deck? Maybe it is actually. Maybe just play Ral, not Royal Scions. Maybe just that. Yeah, 
Yeah. So take out take out Kefnet, play Ral instead. I guess that's and then and so, Midnight Clock was cool, but Mana Geode should help our mana better. And then get the Is it Gilgate in here since we weren't playing an Is it Gilgate. Get that in here. All right. So yeah. So there we go. Um, hopefully that uh, those are some things that can kind of help a little bit. But yeah, I liked I liked uh, what we got going on here with Nicol Bolas, but. Um, you know, Niv Mizzet matchups a little tough, but we didn't, we weren't really that competitive in, in those matches. We didn't, we couldn't really play our spells in either one. We got stuck on lands on one of them and the other one, we didn't have colors and they killed my chromatic lantern. So, uh, we didn't put up much of a fight there. All right. That's Nickel Bolas Brawl. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and leave comments. Always like seeing those comments also. But thank you so much for watching some Brawl today here on this Brawl Wednesday. Also, let me know how much you, how you like uh, Brawl, the format, and everything like that. Um, you know, let me know if you like seeing the Brawl videos and all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.